Hello and welcome to another absolute trading masterclass for you all today where I am going to be going through on the Bitcoin chart the $100,000 short position that I hold right now, how I managed to catch that short to the absolute wick high last night and how I am now waking up to about $1,600 profit overnight. So I'm going to talk you through this trade and now the local support and resistances that we have that are extremely key. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. It's going to be a good one. Let's go straight into it. So I would like to talk you through that trade that I took last night and how I have now actually taken a long position off of the 9,500 support. So I'll talk you through that long at the uh, towards the end of this video. First, let me talk you through continuing directly from yesterday's video and the harmonic that we had and how there was still the potential for the upside. OK, so let's start. My thought process yesterday was this. I'm going to just show you the exact post so you can see exactly what I was writing, okay? So basically, we were obviously, from yesterday's video, hitting that harmonic target, the first level of the harmonic target. And as you can see, my exact words were, you know, in the morning, what EMS holds, I would expect higher, not lower. And the levels that I was looking for for the target for the upside was 9650 to 9680. That's where I would like and I was expecting price to push towards as long as 9440 support is held. So really simply, isn't it? It's really simple, isn't it? I'm expecting higher prices. And as long as we hold the key support that I've recognized, I have to expect higher prices. I have to look for long positions. So that was my first initial words yesterday morning of how I would like the day to trade. OK, moving on, you know, I'm still recognizing that that 9680 has so much confluence. You actually had four different confluences at that level. OK, so it was a really high target and a really likely place to get a rejection because of the levels of confluences that you had at 9680. OK, so moving on from that, you can also see this was then from the 22nd, how I was identifying this level. OK, and I will show you this live so you can see uh, this is obviously uh, how we look for the HVNs and how we can really identify where you're likely to see these resistances. As you can see, that one identified there at 9680 to 9650. That was your next level of where I was believing that you would get that resistance. And as I was making my group aware. And uh, so basically, you then started to, well, it started off yesterday actually pretty sideways. It started off pretty sideways yesterday. So if we come over to this section of the chart, you had a really nice low. OK, so you had a nice low defined and you had obviously a nice high defined. And this is what I was thinking in the time while we were moving sideways in this period. I actually went into a scope short position because I was expecting a swing failure pattern uh, before we test the other side of the range, basically. So what I was waiting for was a swing failure before testing the other side of the range. I was updating my group. I actually talk, took my short from 9,525. That was all posted real time updates. And this is a daily trading update that I give to the group. OK, so every day they'll get a daily trading update. And this was mine that I posted in yesterday morning. OK, so I posted this around 9.20 uh, a.m. That I was, you know, thought it was likely that we get a swing failure of the range before testing the other side. And as you can see there, I ident identified the 9,680 as your key resistance level. But really, we're focusing on here that I thought we'd get that swing failure pattern before going up and testing. OK, and you can see that's exactly how it traded out coming up here to around 3.30 p.m. OK, you can see we finally got that swing failure pattern of the downside and that was the trigger to go into a long. OK, for me anyway, it was the trigger to go into a long. We had swing failure pattern, the low of the range. So that's basically the plan that I was waiting for. And isn't this amazing? Like, firstly, is, you know, isn't it amazing that you are... How did I make this trade? How did I make this trade so successfully? Firstly, taking the short, switching that into a long. Obviously, if you have no plan, if you if you cannot recognize what's likely going to happen here, then when that big move to the downside comes, OK, so while that big move to the downside here is happening or swing failure, you're going to be sat there thinking, oh, what what do I do now? You're going to be just absolutely frozen in in fear and just doubt. And that's obviously the, the, that's the quickest way to lose money. The best way to win money here is trading it like an absolute champion, killing the move down, killing the move up, clean the move down. Just absolutely insane trading. But how did I do that? It's because I had a plan. I foresaw what was going to happen before it even happened. I really believed we'd get that swing failure pattern. I thought it was the most likely before we then push upwards. 
and obviously took that short again all updated in the group we got the swing failure pattern as you know we actually got a pretty crazy wick off of that we gone we went straight down swing failure of the high swing sorry swing failure of the low swing failure of the high back to the low of the channel that was an insane moment of trading it really really was uh, yeah it was insane i'm not gonna lie I think I even wrote about. Yeah, pretty insane. That was what we called. Uh, then I went on to do a, a live stream where I actually explained in detail why we got that move now, why we got that move up, and then how I was looking to trade that going forwards. And in my exact words, where this was not a bearish move to the upside, it actually highlighted the demand. Okay, it highlights that for me, highlighted the demand, the way that it got bought up so quickly. And obviously, a lot of market orders coming and pushing it up there. Obviously, then when you swing fire, you get the pullback. But for me, that was not a bearish move. And as soon as we were getting that move to the downside, this was the exact post that I posted in the group. Again, in real time. After monitoring the reaction from the high and the demand test, I believe we will make another push towards the new target of 9,680. As you can see, this is then the harmonic that I was going for. And that was real-time updates as we were pushing down there at 9,465, okay? So I was expecting this to go into a swing failure pattern. Again, what I like to look at is the order book. The order book was showing so much demand. The, you know, order book is a massively useful tool that we look at okay i think i was posting about the order you know the order books is nice because we can see when you're likely to get these pushes up you know when you're seeing weakness when you're seeing strength and again this is reacting from the details in the chart and that's why i was writing as you were pushing down there i was identifying the demand and the new target was 9680 you know that 9680 was a level i've been waiting for for a few days and you know upon seeing this demand test and highlighting to me that demand is there i had to stick to my plan go into a long position and expect 9680 as you saw that hundred thousand dollar short position we managed to catch up at the highs and from there you had over a hundred dollar pullback but really 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 lovely okay i <laughs> kind of just saying here broke bitcoin literally broke bitcoin there with catching it at, at the absolute high absolute high caught that and obviously we had that lovely pullback that you saw this morning so then what's that left us with now okay that's now left us with this like with well this is why i took the the sculpt long position okay and this is because the channel that we were looking at yesterday okay the exact same channel where we swing forward the low come back into it we got the move to the upside and I actually prefer this one with the wick up here, okay? So this is what I was looking at, sorry, with then this original one with the high of the wick, low of the wick, you can see you swing forward the lows. And what I like about this is because when we moved up to 9,680, okay, which we caught by the wick for that short position, we come down and we then hold it as support, 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 lose the support, back test, and then you move all the way back down to 9,470, 9,479 region, Okay, which is then a support. Now you can see the middle of the channel, which we're touching to the absolute dollar here. Okay, is obviously a take profit on that scope short position. Sorry, scope long position. <laughs> I, I need to try and do that. I need to stop saying accidentally saying the wrong words because I'm sure it confuses people. But uh, yeah, that is that is insane trading, if I do say so myself. How amazing is that trading? And that was the channel that I actually had on earlier, uh, as you can see. And obviously from the harmonic there, let's put on that harmonic, let's zoom out and show you this once more. Just look at it, okay? So firstly, from that, so let me just talk you through, because I really want you to understand, I really do want you to understand, because not just so I can brag about how amazing that trade was, because let's be honest, it was another absolute champion just amazing, amazing I trade, but to, so you can truly understand and benefit from this video, it's understanding that the MS is really, really, con you know, the, the context of this trade is so key. And literally, as my words were saying, I'm pretty sure I said this. Uh, yeah, context is so important or you get burned. If you just blindly look at a pattern and you do not understand the context behind that pattern, you will get burned. And I mean, you will lose money. So to identify that although we had hit a first target to recognize that actually we should be expecting higher to then recognize the next level that you're going towards and then recognize the very very important support that if lost will then that confirms the high is in i will show you by the way that low that we put in yesterday if you want to be even more amazed the low that we put in there nine thousand four hundred and fifty two so within twelve dollars i called the lower once more as you will know a few days ago i called the the exact low of nine two eighty the low was nine two ninety so that was ten dollars of the massive important support i said must not be lost and was still bullish we held that by ten dollars yesterday i gave nine thousand four hundred forty we hit nine thousand five hundred and fifty two within twelve dollars the absolute massive support that must not be lost both times we pushed up higher 
And again, we pushed up higher. That is insane, amazing accuracy. Let's be honest, that is amazing, just totally amazing. Um, and then to identify that long, Okay, firstly, get into the long, then trade that long into back into a short position. As you saw, $100,000 short position on this. This is obviously just the trading challenge account I have. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant up trading. And, you know, what's, what's the difference once more between putting out these charts okay because it's always nice to just put a chart out on on youtube it's easy to put a chart out on twitter but you know what there's a difference between putting out a nice chart and actually having money on the line putting money where your mouth is because as we all know the emotional side of trading is the you know it's 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 such an, a massive crucial part of trading so yeah i could i could sit here doing a youtube video say oh you know this is resistance this is support but guess what if i'm not actually putting money on the line is it, 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 should you even listen to me i'd say no and Unless someone's actually proving to you they're actually putting their money where their mouth is, the emotional side of trading is massive. I'm doing that. I'm giving you the evidence and I'm showing you how I'm literally just controlling this market with recognizing the support and resistance levels. They are so utterly key and just, just absolutely dictating the market let's be honest it's absolutely dictating the highs and lows of the whole of the bitcoin market it's insane the trading that i'm doing right now <laughs> not not to brag so hard but it kind of is and then yeah locally we have that channel here okay as you can see we're trying to breach now through the midpoint so uh to 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 say this i'd say you have a massive crucial support 9440 okay so yeah you can swing failure pattern it but night just just remember this okay weekends coming up you're seeing great weakness in the actual stock market doesn't mean we have to fall down here uh but yeah 9440 cr pretty crucial support let's be honest okay from the upside I would say if we manage to breach this high, you're actually going to be looking up to around 9,800, 9,900 as the next level, okay? So I've given you here in this video, I've, yeah, I've taught you through the thought process. I've actually shown you every post that I put in my group yesterday, literally handing money on a plate to people, uh, giving them the exact setups. Uh, of basically what, how we walk through these these trades, okay? So, uh, you know, I've taught you through that. I've taught you through then that lovely, lovely harmonic, which come up to the 886, by the way. So let's just put it on one more time. That's the 886. If we breach this, I, I think you go 9,800, then 9,900, okay? So be aware, those are your next two levels of resistance, okay? Before you obviously breach the 10K. But uh, to the downside, 9,440. 9, if you want a bigger level, Obviously, still, you've got 9,280 as that secondary support. So I've given you two really big resistances, two really big supports. But, you know, the, the main star of the show once more, the harmonic, how I... How I Firstly, identified the original harmonic to the 786 all the way back down at 9,000, how we then hit that target. And then I recognized once more that we are still likely to push up. What did we do? We pushed up. We hit the secondary target of the harmonic there at the 886. Wonderful trading. If I, zoom, I, I need to stop saying to myself it's wonderful trading, but people can back this up. It really was. And then obviously this morning, uh, recognizing that, you know, I thought that we would get a bounce because of the way that we were bouncing off the CCV target. So again, this was a target identified by $2 of the low, $2 of the low, I identified that CCV target. And then obviously, you know, that 9,500 level was looking good for a bounce. Again, putting my money where my mouth is, taking scalp longs, as, as you can see other people are. And uh, well, that was a good decision because we're obviously now back up at the midpoint of the uh, of that channel. So really nice. Um, yeah, that's my video for you all today. I will end by saying once more for the, uh, you know, the announcement that we do have the trading challenge over at uh, coming up for Chart Champions. If you want to join the team, uh, then obviously uh, you, anyone could join that. It's, it's literally free, so anyone can join that. I'll put I'll put the you know how you can do that down in the the uh, comments below. OK, and I will say that if you want these real time live updates, uh, you know how I'm what I'm expecting to do, do during the day. Everybody gets my tra daily trading update sheets. You get random spontaneous live streams throughout the day when something really important is happening. You get an unreal amount of content, like so much content and obviously being having access to, you know, when I'm taking my next trades, you know, posted that at 10 a.m. We're now, you know, up at 11 a.m. We're up at almost $40 already. So it's, you know, I'm a, I'm a literally like, like, like the Fed. I'm also almost like the Fed just printing money for people right now. It is just wonderful trading. That's all I'm going to say. If you want those kind of updates, then. You know, you can come across to Chart Champions in the Champions group. You get you get many, many, many updates. And uh, obviously, I'm starting the almost signals group coming up in one week for the um, for the uh, tr tr trading challenge, the 200 Bitcoin trading challenge. I'm going to be going on live stream for swing trades. So, you know, swing trades. 
I'm going to be going on live stream, giving you the entries, the targets and the stop loss. You know, it's going to be free money. Let's be honest. We're going to win it. So <laughs> looking very much forward to that. Hope that you've enjoyed today's analysis. Uh, you know, it's again, it's content you're not going to see anywhere else. And this is truly champion level trading. So uh, if you've enjoyed this video, as always, I would love a, I would love a like down below. That would that would uh, that would be nice if you want to give if you want to take a second out of your day to give me a like on this video that would mean the world to me and um, you know if you if you want to give a nice comment of appreciation again that that helps out. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody so much. And uh, yeah, I think maybe I'll do a live stream this week to catch up with you all and uh, just say once again, thank you for all the support, it means the world. And uh, you know, you make me happy. I hope to make you happy back by giving you some great educational content here and uh, you know, see you succeed and, and meet your goals. So cheers everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day, brilliant weekend. And yeah, let's continue to crush these charts because pff, madre mia, we are doing it so very well. Cheers everybody. Bye.